Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. You know, we're going to talk today uh, uh, patients who are diagnosed with coronary artery disease. And I know Shauna has a good story for us. But if we could talk with you, Dr. Uh, Barker, if you'll set the medical platform and then I'll hear Shauna's story. Sure. I mean, uh, so coronary artery disease is blockages in the coronary arteries. The coronary arteries are the fuel lines, the main arteries that supply energy and oxygen to the heart. So with, uh, over time, these arteries can become narrowed and therefore not able to supply the blood that one needs for their heart to pump normally and for them to feel okay. When coronary artery disease progresses and the blockages get to a critical point, patients can start developing chest pain or angina with physical activity, which can be really lifestyle limiting despite doing all the right things and taking the right medications. Alternatively, a, coronary artery disease can present itself in the setting of a heart attack when you suddenly develop chest pressure, arm pain, neck and jaw pain that doesn't go away and isn't really relieved with anything. It's important to seek out medical attention immediately because if you're having a heart attack, you want to get somewhere where you can be treated uh, quickly and appropriately. Shauna, you're going to tell us about being your own advocate for yourself to make sure your persistence pays off. Could you share your story? Sure, that's right. Um, you know, when I first had these symptoms uh, come on, and they were certainly something I'd never experienced before, um, I work out every day, and, um, you know, during one of those activities, I had symptoms that were neck tightness, uh, throat tightness, chest tightness, and um, numbness down my left arm. So I, I was really taken aback because it was something I'd never experienced before, and it certainly seemed like it was heart-related to me, um, even though I felt like I was somebody, you know, that never fit any kind of profile uh, that that would happen to. And after that, you know, persisted over a few weeks, it, it led me to the doctor. It led me to, um, I, you know, sought out information and treatment from about three doctors, uh, all the while doing, you know, different diagnostic tests and, um, you know, I was diagnosed with coronary artery disease and um, angina and given, you know, medication for it. Um, but I just, you know, I wasn't satisfied. It was limiting my lifestyle so much I couldn't even do the things that I was doing without having these symptoms uh, break through. So on a particular day that my symptoms were very, very severe, um, it led me that day to Dr. Barker and he saw me that day. Um, and I was absolutely stunned to find out that I had a 90% blockage of a major artery. Um, within hours, he had me in the cath lab and, um, you know, implanted this stent. It was a Synergy stent. Um, and, you know, I felt better immediately. And within weeks, I was back to all my activities. I, I truly couldn't believe that I could go back to, um, you know, the intensity of the workouts that I had. And I got to attend a University of Texas women's clinic um, in July that was very intensive in the 100 degrees. So, I mean, I was completely back to normal. That's a great story, Shauna. I would like to ask you, Dr. Barker, she said she has a stent. What should patients like Shauna ask before pa preparing for that kind of procedure? Well, where do we even find those questions from? Yeah, I, there, there are several important questions. You know, one is understanding what coronary artery disease, and it's these blockages that, that can lead to the symptoms Shauna was having as well as even potentially causing heart attacks. 
So if, if you're a patient and you're being told that you know, a stent is recommended, you wanna understand the disease you have and how putting a stent in is gonna help you. And the circumstances where it'll help you is if you're having chest pain despite doing all the right things and, and living a healthy lifestyle like Shauna was, or if you present with a heart attack where a stent can be life-saving. Um, the flip side of that is you wanna understand the risks. Any invasive procedure has inherent risks. Stent procedures and stent technology have come a long way and they are very safe these days with about a 1% risk in the procedure. But you still wanna make sure you understand that before you move uh, forward with, with any procedure. You know, I, and I think um, a good resource for answering some of these questions and, and learning more about coronary artery disease and your treatment options, including the Synergy Stent, would be a website bostonscientific.com backslash Synergy Patient, which was developed by Boston Scientific, who we're partnering with today. Dr. Barker and Shauna, I want to thank you so much for sharing your story and just giving us some information to get started on this quest. Thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.